everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to paint a beautiful watercolor flowers bunch watercolor painting is a wonderful way to express your creativity and bring your imagination to life and flowers are the most popular subject in watercolor paintings in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a lovely bunch of flowers using watercolor so I'm starting with the basic wash of pink color uh, slowly spreading my colors um, using little bit of strokes a pink color to give a shape of a flower and now I'm adding some green strokes of sap green color to give the shape of the stem I'm using some Windsor and Newton brand watercolor tubes I think they are really of good quality paints and um, I've been painting with them since many years now and I find them perfectly fine to work with. I'm adding some strokes of pink color, darker pink and now some green again to give the stem shape. Now I'm taking some burgundy red and it's important to move your brush in the shape of the flower like I'm doing here. Just spread your colors. I always start with the lighter shade of the color and then add on some darker shades to the flower to get that depth of light and shadow and it's it's very important to move your brush in the shape of the flower in the direction of the petals I'm adding some leaves here and I'm using um, a little bit of brown shade in my sap green color so that I can give a warm tone to my painting you know if you want to give some cool um, shade to your painting you can add blue color to your green whatever green you are taking that will give you a cooler shade I'm adding some darker tone of red to my flower to you know add on to the the shadow and depth of to my flower light and shadow is very important in the painting you need to see from where the light is falling and where you want to give the lighter colors and where you want to add the darker colors so wherever you think the light is falling from you just need to keep that area lighter colors and darker where the shadow is coming I'm starting with my blue color flower now uh, again I've started with the lighter shade and 
I'm adding a little bit of darker blue color. I'm just adding to the lighter shade and I'm just you know giving the shape of the flower uh, slowly spreading the darker shade to act to some areas and um, adding the stem to it so again the green stem and a little bit of leaf Again, uh, a little bit of blue flower. I'm starting with the lighter tone and then adding the darker color of blue. So my other flower is dry now, and you can see how I'm adding the darker tone of pink. On the lighter sh shade of the color and slowly spreading my color on that so this is basically uh, the technique we use in watercolor which is called wet on dry technique so my flower my base color was dry and now I'm adding little darker color and I'm spreading that color to all the areas of the flower where I want to just give the shadows or the light and depth to my flower. Now I'm again adding some leaves. So leaves are again the same thing, you know, you have to move your brush in the circular motion in the in the direction of the leaf like you know where the you need to see where your flower is going where your leaves are going you need to see how to move your hand while you are painting that is very important because that will give you a very nice you know touch to your uh, flower and it will make your a painting process easy uh, I'm always using a paper cloth to keep washing my uh, to keep uh, cleaning my brush so again I'm adding darker tone once I've added the lighter shade to my paint to my flower Okay, so next I'm going to start mixing yellow and some orange and I will be starting to paint some uh, smaller bud, budded flower and it's very, um, you know, small flowers like you have wild flowers and um, these are basically fillers you can use in any of your flowers bunch when you are painting and you have space um, in your um, in your pa on your paper and you need to fill that space so you need to add some uh, these fillers Uh, and now I'm um, adding some green stems again to the fillers. Slowly 
you know don't you don't have to worry about um your colors spreading to other parts of the flower uh, this is a natural process because it's watercolor and it it looks great if it you know spreads to a little bit to your other uh, flower other subject if you are mixing the colors if two colors are mixed like uh, like here you have orange and green mixed a little bit it gives a very um, natural and you know, soft watercolor look to your painting And now I'm um, pulling off some color from my buds and spreading the harder edges. You know, it's great to use your paper towel and just pull off the color from the painting when you feel that it's like you know it's more dark. You can just add more color and just spread your uh, hard edges and make it a little softer and now I'm add some more leaves I'm using just two strokes to make my leaf and gently adding onto the color and you know making it a rounder shape again I'm adding some sap green and I'm mixing some yellow to it to give it a little warm shade so it depends like in the first part I was in the first leaf which I painted I was using a little brown uh, with my sap green and in these I'm using a mix of yellow and green and I'm taking a little bit of brown it's, the brown is very less you can't figure it out where it is but um, it is there and I'm using my uh, tip of the brush to make the little stem of the leaves and now I'm adding a little smaller flowers and see again I'm taking the pink shade and I've started with a lighter tone and then slowly adding my darker tone to it just dropping in the color the darker color and then again joining the smaller flowers and adding some detail to the leaves I'm adding little strokes to the leaves a thin strokes very gently softly to give them a natural leaf look and just pulling out some color using my paper towel so that you know it's not very harsh okay so next um, I will be moving on to the rose flower and I've started with the darker strokes in between and then just gently spreading my color outside of the darker shades to my rose flower So when you are making a flower bunch you need to 
cover up some empty spaces and you know keep adding more things to your bunch if you feel that there is some empty space uh, depending if you like to add some smaller fillers like you know buds and a little smaller flowers or uh, adding some leaves I'm adding some more fillers to my painting and so I'm adding these buds again because I was feeling there was some empty space here Uh, I'm adding some more fillers on the top of the painting because I'm feeling there is a uh, gap is um, empty, empty space on the top and so I'm adding some more of the uh, these orange and yellow buds here which I've already added to the painting before it's a good idea to use um, similar flowers in your branches because that will um, make it more coordinative and give it more um, you know unified uh, look And yeah, that's it. Uh, you have just painted a beautiful watercolor flower sponge if you were following along with me. Uh, watercolor painting is all about experimentation and having fun. So don't be afraid to try new things and explore your creativity. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.